I don't think Oswald did anything except allow himself to be foolishly set up as a patsy. And in that sense, there had to be somebody else. In, in my view, it wasn't Oswald. And the reason for that breaks down to four components, four and a half. Oswald had trouble keeping jobs because he had no mechanical aptitude. He couldn't drive an automobile. At age 24, I'm going to say maybe 1% of the American population of males age 24 didn't drive automobiles because that was coming of age. That was a rite of passage. Oswald couldn't get the hang of driving a car. But in terms of marksmanship, the Marine colonel that testified before the Warren Commission was asked to characterize Oswald's skills with a rifle. And he said, quote, a rather poor shot. Now, that's extremely significant because the Warren Commission makes him out to be the world's greatest sniper. Point two is the FBI fingerprint expert at the FBI laboratory, Sebastian Latona, went over the rifle with high-intensity magnification and couldn't find a smudge of a fingerprint. And the Warren Commission said, how is it he couldn't find anything? And his answer was, it's a cheap old gun. So you're putting somebody who is a rather poor shot and you're giving him a cheap old gun, which is not going to win you a Cupid doll at the state fair. Thirdly, Oswald was last known to have fired a rifle on May 6th of 1959 in the Marines, and he scored a 191. And if he had gotten a 189, they would have sent him home as unfit for combat. So he made the cut by one point. There's Marine testimony saying when a guy shot absolutely lousy, they'd say, okay, you got a 191, here you go. You're still in the Marines. A 191. <laughs> and I, I got to back up. Somebody on a, a lone assassin clown on, on TV this week said, you know, Oswald qualified as a sharpshooter at one point. That's the second highest qualification in the Marines. Well, it's also the second lowest because they only have three qualifications. Uh, but he, he hadn't fired a gun that can be established on the record from May 6th of 1959 until, and the next time he's alleged to have fired, well, the Walker incident was put on him, but I don't think he did that either, uh, November 22nd. And that's 1,651 days, and marksmanship is a skill that has to be practiced. It's not like softball where you put the bat down in September and pick it up in April and take batting practice and start hitting ground balls and eventually you, you get a couple, get some lift on a couple. It's regular. When I was on the pistol team in DOJ, we fired 300 rounds a week, routinely. No questions asked. Here's, here's your boxes of bullets. Take your practice. And the gun, the rifle that supposedly did the shooting, was supposedly taken into the building in two pieces, the wood and the metal. And it was put together in the building. And the FBI went to great lengths to prove they could assemble the, the rifle using only a dime because Oswald wasn't found with a screwdriver on his person. But that begs the question because any hunter, any hunter, will tell you that before they go out to start hunting season, they have their weapon sighted in so that the sight leads the bullet to where the sight is going. Because you can put a sight on a weapon and, and miss by 200 feet if the sight is not sighted in. So you've got a rather poor shot with a cheap old weapon, no rifle experience for four and a half years, and a gun that's not sighted in. And to me, that says beyond impossible. That's taken a major league ball player who's cut from the team because he can't hit. Batting average career was 191. You give him a broken bat with a taped handle, and five years after the last time he swung a bat, put him in the batter's box and tell him, first two pitches you swing at have to go over the center field fence, because that's the equivalent of two shots Oswald allegedly made. And it's not going to happen. 